Ta -da! Et, it, Dubai, seventy point three. Not as I was uh, expecting or hoping for. Hey guys, so just made it to Dubai. I'm now out for a little run, shaking out after a long travel. So having like 60 minute run on soft tarmac here before heading to the pool and then having an easy spin in the course. I've been uh, just finish off a month and a half up in Sierra Nevada in altitude and uh, last two three weeks I've been quite tired so uh, I think I will have to do extra kind of uh, recovery now going into this race just taking it quite easy doing some kind of one minute activation stuff just to get ready and hopefully have like uh, the yeah the good legs for Saturday. So I raced her. I came uh, three we I came here to Dubai three years ago and uh, had one of my worst races so far. Didn't even get onto the bike. I'm just cramping up. Luckily my quad is a little bit better today and it will probably be better for race day. But uh, yeah I'm hungry for getting my revenge on this course it's kind of over there at the beach i think the course uh very simple flat <laughs> flat on the swim <laughs> flat on the bike and uh kind of flat on the run but it's kind of same surface as this which is quite soft as you can see it's almost like cushioning so it's actually making the run quite slow so uh, yeah, that would be interesting. I wasn't able to test it out last time I were, because I didn't finish. So that would be interesting. But anyway, first race of the year, 2022. Hopefully another big year. Let's see how it goes. So a little equipment check now. Everything is ready. Now getting ready soon to travel to Transition, checking the gear, letting the bike stay overnight. So I just received my new suit from Trimtex, also together with my casual t-shirts which I will be wearing for the race as you probably saw in the last video now I've been pairing up my giant KDX bike with SRAM so that's cool and also I think it's going to be a uh, swim skin swim for race day having the the boar tsunami 1.0 with the golden touch from last year Tokyo 2020 with my name on which is quite cool so this tries to is quite good with kind of comfortable uh, arms which makes it easy to swim with uh, the swim skin and uh, 
I don't have to kind of undress myself and put it halfway down as many do. I can kind of keep the suit fully on underneath without feeling that the arms is slowing down in the water. So this is my brace setup. Time for a swim. I was planning to head to the pool, but there was too many people there. I felt like I couldn't interrupt everyone who were on the vacation. And I can show you my bike as you probably saw in the SRAM video it's now using uh, SRAM components mm, KDX 4 spoke front wheel with a full disc behind and also the slogan has been moved from the wheel up to the frame which is quite cool KB Normally for this race I would have changed it to one by, but uh, since I'm coming straight, since I'm coming straight from training camp, I haven't really bothered doing the big change or doing it. So ideally, like for Hawaii, I would probably remove this one and put on a one by twelve instead. The cassette is a little bit kind of less traveling because it's such a long, because it's just such a flat course. So I don't need the uh, super flat. Now we start to go press conference. So it's actually going to be a big horse race here on the track in the evening after the race. So I better be quick with my race get back home so i can watch some uh, proper racing <laughs> that's my motivation for saturday quick in quick out So now two days out from our race, We've got the race on a little bit distance, obviously still disappointed with how it ended, uh, but uh, I guess it's good to get this kind of uh, slap in the face two months out of uh, St. George. So just trying to kind of keep it as fuel for my training for the next uh, eight weeks. So yeah, so that's two days now. I've been uh, training a little bit of easy, trying to re-evaluate the whole race and what happened, what went wrong. And uh, I'll probably have to change a little bit on my bike setup. For example, we we'll probably put my my quads is still kind of very smashed after the bike. So I guess uh, I'll have to put my saddle further back again to get to activate my hamstring more. Um, uh, what else should I do? But anyway, I'll, I'm out for a little run. Later today, I will head up to up there, having a big little bit of tourist there. 
so not sure how far we can get up but uh, having a look at Burj Khalifa and uh, trying to enjoy the last few hours I have here before I'm heading to Eindhoven for the winter mall and then uh, back again to Europe some more interesting stuff but anyway it hurts more to lose so <laughs> it's awful <laughs> post race but anyway it probably just good uh, fuel for the next few weeks of training. See you later. <laughs>